morning. Okay, today we're going to cover a couple of drills. We're going to cover a basic defensive drill <clears throat> and then a couple of uh, what we call entry techniques. Sometimes I like to call them sucker punch moves. Um, people look down on the sucker punch, but if you've ever watched any fights, usually the one that gets off the best first punch with a little bit of authority usually wins the fight. You know, uh, defense doesn't get you anywhere. It's usually offense and attack, and that's what's going to make some money for you. So if I know I'm in a confrontation and a threat's there and it's going to happen, I'm just going to go. Uh, the better I understand how to enter and how to do damage, the better for me. So uh, we're going to cover some of that today. First thing we're going to work on today is we're going to work on a, what we call the, the parry cover drill. All right. So from a basic fighting stance, you're just getting kind of natural, nice and, and loose, whatever stance you kind of like to use. If you don't have a stance, what we kind of advocate is pretty much 45 degree toes, get your foot up. And since this is a drill, we're going to be moving with uh, you know our push shuffle footwork, our step and glide footwork, that kind of stuff. So anyway, from this perspective, all we're going to do is we're going to be blocking out high, covering. This is just a head hunting drill. We're just going to work on covering head hunting. So we're going to block high and we're going to parry inside. All right, that's what we're going to work on today. So I'm cruising around. I got my footwork going on. Somebody throws a big haymaker, I block it. Haymaker, I block it. It's coming down the pipe, I block it. I block it. We're just going to work on those dimensions. So if it's coming in straight, I parry move. I parry move. Block it, block it, parry it, parry. We're just going to work on those kind of motions. So again, you know, if I'm using this footwork, I'll shuffle right, I'll shuffle, you know, I'll shuffle left, I'll shuffle right, that kind of thing. I may shuffle back, I may shuffle forward, but I may shuffle off to my left side, I block that, I may shuffle off to the right side, I block that, I may shuffle out, parry in, I may shuffle up, parry in. Again, if I'm not there, the better for me. Later on, we work on just snapping back, those type of things, but for today, we're just working on the uh, cover parry. So if I come, one comes from, the, from my left side, I cover, I cover, I parry, I parry. Just move around, get a little footwork, kind of cruising out. Work that stuff, a little bit of a active motion. You kind of move that stuff back and forth, move in and out. Occasionally, pop in a jab, start adding this stuff into your shadow boxing too. So uh, you can shadow box, put that drill inside of that, and it'll help you a little bit. So that's really just covering <clears throat> kind of haymaker or big uh, outer strikes. Just going to zone and cover. Zone and cover or in place, it doesn't matter. I may do this stuff in place, I may just slip, I'll just kind of cover out, or I may move. Okay. I may move to the outside, I may move away from the inner one. Or I may just deal with it, you know. So just kind of work that back and forth and work on your motions. Okay, the next thing we're going to work on is a couple of our entry sucker punch type technique drills. So if I'm in a position where uh, I've got my hands up and say, hey, dude, I don't want any trouble. I don't want to see what's going on. I'm going to do the first one I like to call eye candy. So this is really just a variation of the gut buster we're going to show you later. For this position, when it's time to go, I'm just going to put my fingers in the eye. So as those fingers in the eye, I'm going to step out. Grab a shot for the solar plexus, pop a left hook. Okay, that could be a left ear slap, could be an elbow, based on your range, could be anything you want to do. First thing I'm going to do though, is I'm going to put those fingers in the eyes. As I put those fingers in the eyes, it's probably going to cause the head to snap back. As that head snaps back, that opens up that bread basket, right in the solar plex. I'm laying that punch in the solar plex. That's going to probably elicit this response. <clears throat> that will allow my hook to make a lot of money my elbow based on where I'm at. Whatever range I'm in, whatever weapon's applicable, that's when I'm gonna fire. So, basic motion of it, finger jab, across the body, hook to the head. The basic motion, again, uh, you know, add, delete, adjust, put whatever technique you need based on the range. The thing that's gonna be pretty much a constant is the finger jab, and usually the cross right to the gut. Now, depending upon how far he bends over, or how far I send him away with this, there may not be a third follow-up shot. But I want to uh, not count on that. I've got to have an option for it. So as I fire this body shot, I'm going to predict him bending a little bit. I'm going to let go of a hook or an elbow smash. All right? So I can finger, cross, hook, finger, cross, elbow. All right? Just kind of work on that drill just a little bit. I like to call that eye candy because I'm putting it in the eye. All right? The next one, it's kind of a corny name, but uh, we're in Texas, right? In Tejas, 
you're gonna go to a Mexican restaurant, you're gonna find barbacoa tacos everywhere. Well, barbacoa is pretty much face meat, all right? So I like to name this barbacoa because I'm gonna be putting my fingers in your face, grinding up in your face. So now again, if I happen to be in this position, I'm a little too close, I'm just gonna go stick that fingers in the face. And I'm gonna drive a, a left shovel hook to the, to the liver. And now I'm gonna drop the elbow on top. So I'm gonna get in, get a little barbacoa, get some liver, take the head off, all right? So face meat, liver, elbow to the face. Right. So now we're going to apply those on to Bob just a little bit. So I happen to be hanging out. I'm a little bit too close. I know things are going bad. Fingers in the eye. Shovel hook to the body. Hook to the head. Alright. Fingers in the eye. Shovel. Hook to the face. Again, if he bends a little bit, I should have probably got easy money on that. Since Bob doesn't react like a human, my hook slid past. It is what it is. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> That's that motion. Now to go into barbacoa, we're gonna come in and get a little meat, grab the liver, pop the elbow. And then things are too close. I come in under cover. Right. Come under cover, get that face meat. Pop that liver, bang that head. Right. And then under cover. Dude, I really don't want to fucking trouble. Dude, here's the back fuck off. Really, man, what you fucking with me for? All right, so that's barbacoa and eye candy. Eye candy is a finger jab. Barbacoa is getting into that face. All right, have a great day. Work on those. And now, last one we're going to give you is a little bit of stick. Okay, we've been working through our grill so far. We're giving you a method of striking. We're giving you the ocho ocho. Up and down. We're giving you the bondi banda. Side to side. And we've given you the sankiti kusada. Straight thrust or gaffing thrust. And now if you think about that, we're pretty much covering the octagon now. We've covered top two angles of the octagon, bottom two angles of the octagon side to side on the octagon. And then we've worked on a variety of thrustings into those areas. This one I'm gonna give you is called, uh, sometimes it is called the rompita, sometimes it's called the up and down, okay? The rompita would be, in Filipino martial arts, this motion here. The way I like it better, uh, if I had a bolo, I'd be more worried about emphasizing this motion. For the cutting aspect of it usually i'm going to have an impact weapon so i'm going to just come straight down and up and i'm just going to come down with that bad boy and up with that bad boy i may come up underneath if there's a weapon in that limb I may come up underneath it and down I may come down and up I may come up and down it doesn't really matter which way you go with it i may be clipping your hand coming back over your head maybe clipping you in the head clipping you back under the chin all right so again to go with the pattern put them all together you have the ocho ocho, bandi banda, sinkiti tetsara, stabbing or gaffing, and now you have the rompita or the up and down, and you've covered pretty much the whole octagon now. You've covered the two angles, basically the uh, two o'clock, the ten o'clock four o'clock to seven o'clock, three and nine, the Sankiti covers a variety inside of there if there's thrustings anywhere. Now we're going to cover the 12 and six. All right, so that's your basic stick work today. Work that in a pattern. on the uh, up and equal there which we haven't got to yet but we'll see that next week probably depends on how I feel anyway have a good day work through the material have fun be safe